Hey, what is up guys? Hope you guys are having a good day so far. It is Friday and that means it is uh, time for the weekend. So I just want to give you guys kind of like a quick update. Hold on, let me turn this. We got a um, YouTube channel that we actually play for. Here, let me adjust this mic a little bit. We actually have a YouTube channel that we play for uh, for our dog. I'm not sure what the deal is with this. There we go, I think that's a little bit better. So we have a YouTube channel that we play for our dog when we go to work, but <clears throat> I am actually at home, um, getting ready to start my weekend a little bit. And I just want to give you guys like an update as to how my progress is um, after my LASIK surgery. So it is uh, one week later um, from when I had my, uh, my LASIK surgery. Um, a week out, everything is going really good. Uh, yesterday I did have um, an issue with my left eye where uh, it felt like there was something in there, you know, kind of like when you get an eyelash. Um, so yesterday my eye was a little bit red because it, it felt irritated from, uh, I'm not sure if it was the actual lens. Um, from what I read online, your, uh, where they actually create the flap, um, it can sometimes start to settle and feel like you're, you know, like you got something in your eye. Uh, so yesterday my eye was a little bit irritated, but today so far is, everything is feeling really good. My eyes don't feel dry. Uh, I am still taking my drops. Um, the two sets of drops that I have, I'm supposed to reduce those to four times uh, a day. Um, or yeah, four times a day each. Yeah, four, four drops um, for a total of uh, eight drops from the two different bottles. And then I'm also still using my moisturizing drops um, you know everything is going really good my eyes are actually still a little bit red um, I'm not sure if you could see it in the camera but um, there are like little um, broken blood vessels and from what I've also read online that can actually be because when they do the when they create the flap um, and they kind of you know pull your eye out a little bit um, some of the blood vessels will actually burst in your eye and so you know it takes a little bit of time to heal so my eyes still look at a little bit red uh, it does look like, um, you know, maybe I've gone a few few hours without without enough sleep. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's going really well. Uh, next week, I have my one-week checkup. Um, and I suspect my doctor is going to tell me everything is looking really good. Um, people at work are a little kind of, uh, uh, you know, kind of surprised that I actually got the LASIK surgery. Um, but otherwise... Uh, you know, I've had a few people here and there tell me that they themselves were actually interested in in getting LASIK. So who knows? Maybe I'll send uh, maybe I'll send another uh, some more people over to my doctor here in Chicago, which is uh, the Craft Institute. So uh, no complaints. It's really amazing to wake up and be able to see like a normal person. Uh, it's really nice not having to. Uh, you know, come home and take on my contacts. There, there. I still have that feeling at night, though, when it's getting ready, uh, when it's time for me to get ready for bed, that I feel like I have to go to the bathroom and take out my contacts. Uh, and then I have to remind myself, oh, you know, I don't have contacts in anymore. So that's really nice. Uh, I, I will admit that is that is very very nice. Um, but otherwise, what else is going on? Um, there, let's show you Chicago today. Flip you guys around here. There we go. That's the view from my office that I have here. It's really just a den, but there is um, the other part of Wolf Point. I don't know if you guys can see that crane moving up there. But as you can see, they're making really good progress. They're actually putting on the exterior windows at the moment. Got the American flag up top there. Absolutely amazing just how fast uh, that building has gone up. And then as you can see down there, Chicago Cut Steakhouse. Uh, they got some scaffolding over there. I'm not sh quite sure what they're doing. Um, but you know, during summertime, that place is usually the spot to hang out at, especially during lunchtime. Uh, the river, as you can see, it's not, um, it's not packed full of ice. It's getting a little bit warmer here in Chicago. I think it's in the mid thirties today. And I think tomorrow we're supposed to hit like mid 40s, uh, which will be really nice. Um, if it's not too windy, not too cold out, uh, we'll probably take my dog out for a walk. It's been a while since he's been out, so 
Uh, yeah, not a bad day in Chicago. You know, unfortunately, we don't have a ton of sun, but it's better than um, what it was a few days ago. Actually, a few days ago, we hit negative 20 with the wind chill, so it's it's not it's not bad. It's getting warm up. Um, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but there are some people in the office over there. Um, yeah, that's probably the executives where they have their uh, sweet offices at. Anyway, there is Chicago from my uh, from my apartment. Uh, what else do we got going on? Oh, uh, we got uh, St. Patrick's Day coming up here pretty soon. Uh, that's in the next couple of weeks. Uh, as you guys know, Chicago, uh, we're famous for dyeing the river green. Although, it's really interesting because the Chicago River, some days it's you know, kind of got that bluish green, and then during the summertime, it actually turns like uh, almost like a more blue than it is uh, than it is green. But then again, water is supposed to be blue, huh? That's weird. Anyway, it, lo it looks really good. It looks really cool. Um, it, they usually do the uh, dying of the river more towards Trump Tower. And then, you know, usually like a couple of hours later, you actually start to see uh, the dye reach down here. But uh, hopefully it's warm enough this year um, so that we can actually go out and enjoy ourselves. Uh, a few years ago, it was really interesting because <clears throat> it hit like mid, I want to say mid 60s a few years ago. And there was there was bars that actually ran out of, uh, out, of uh, out of beer because there were so many people that were just out, you know, bar hopping, enjoying themselves. Um, you know, mid 60s in March is not really a thing around here. It doesn't really start getting warmed up until about May. Um, and you never know with uh, global warming, climate change, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, sometimes we'll we'll get those bouts where it gets really warm during uh, during the winter time, and then going into spring, sometimes it'll get warm. So it it'll be really nice if we can actually head out this year. I'm not sure why this is so low. There we go, let's try that. Uh, hopefully we can get out, enjoy ourselves, take the uh, take our dog out for a walk, and uh, maybe do some bar hopping, I don't know, maybe have a few drinks, just enjoy the nice weather. It's nice out. Um, and I, like I said, I will take you guys out for that so you can see what it's all about. We usually get down there early so that we can get a good spot along the railings. Um, if you don't get there early, uh, I mean, there's just, there's a lot of people that come out uh, for that. Usually the trains are pretty packed. Lots of traffic. Um, especially, you get a lot of people that come out from the suburbs. You know, I, I grew up in the suburbs my whole life, so you get a lot of people that come out for the suburbs, uh, and they're just clueless. They have no idea where to go. They have no idea where they're going to start dying in the river, and so it's just, it's just a madhouse uh, down here. But I will show you guys that. And uh, that should be some really cool content so you guys can get an up close view. Maybe if you watch this video, um, you'll have a, a much better idea of where you need to go. If you want to catch where the boats actually start doing uh, the actual dying. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, anyways, I will let you guys uh, get back to your weekend. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your day watching me. Just kind of talk about my LASIK stuff uh, and my, my life here in Chicago. I'll also give you guys a quick snapshot of my dog, as you can see, snoozing. Uh oh, he's awake now. We actually just bought him this blanket, and uh, he seems to be in love with it. And then we also got him one for his little cage there. There, right, buddy? Oh yeah, look at these beagle ears. All right, so I'll let you guys go. I appreciate you guys watching my vlog. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See you later.